Today we're testing out the new Meepo NLS Pro and I think you guys might be pretty impressed by it. What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things. We've got another electric skateboard review for you guys today and this one has been highly requested here on the channel. Now I'm happy to report that all of these newer generation skateboards of previous ones that I've tested seem to be getting better and a lot better. The price point on them may be increasing a little bit but for the most part it has been reflected with the upgrades to performance, accessories, and everything else that you get inside of these packages. Now for today's topic I have tested the Gen 1 of this board. I also tested the V2, which was sort of like a shorter style board. But now we're jumping back to the more traditional style longboard electric skateboard. And of course, we are taking a look at the Meepo NLS Pro. Now starting from the top, both of the Meepo boards that I've tested in the past were ones that I could recommend and if you guys want to see those videos or check out all of the specs, I will leave links to those in the description down below. This is of course the newest generation coming from Meepo called the NLS Pro and there should be some more comfort and power added to this thing when compared to the previous boards. On their site they claim that power has been increased by 30% and the range has been increased by 60%. The power and range on the previous boards was pretty good, so I'm curious to see how that will actually play out in today's test. This board is powered by 550 watt dual hub motors and their new Meepo ESC version 3.0. With the new components, this board should give you a top speed of 32 miles per hour, which is crazy fast, and a range of up to 20 miles. Now these boards are not only about performance, but comfort as well. So to add to the comfort, Meepo has added some 100 millimeter wheels. These should do a great job of sucking up any rough pavement and cracks that you may encounter. They're using a very familiar bamboo style deck and on top they have some pretty aggressive looking grip tape, but it is also of the foam variety. So if you take a close look at it, you're not only going to have a shock absorption from the nice wheels and flexible deck, but you're also going to have a little bit of that foam underfoot and I have not ridden a board like this yet, so I'm curious to see how that will actually play out. With the new specs, this thing should be able to climb 30% grade hills, which is pretty impressive if that is true. They've also upgraded the trucks to a pair of shredder trucks and this board is a little bit heavier you're coming in at 18.7 pounds. Now before we get into riding this thing, I actually want to talk about some of the accessories that they included with this. Meepo is pretty much known for providing a lot of accessories with the board. And not only does the board look better, but these accessories have gotten better as well. So first up, you guys saw that nice included stand. It's almost like a guitar stand. That was super convenient for getting some B-roll shots, but also if you have a board like this, you can kind of plop it right by your front door or wherever an outlet is right inside of your house. And that keeps things nice and tidy. You don't have to lean it up against the wall, which leaves marks all over over the place. Now inside of their accessory kit, they do include this new case, which is a very nice touch. Previously, a lot of these boards that are coming from China just kind of pack all of the accessories in foam and then you're left with a pile of wheels and tools and all sorts of things with nowhere to put them. Inside of here, you get the instruction manual and a bunch of different tools, the typical stuff like that. You get a very nice charging cable. This thing is definitely upgraded from the previous models. It is a braided USB cable. You have a micro USB and iPhone charger. So if you wanna charge your phone off of this, you could. And then you also have a USB-C adapter if you want to charge anything that runs off a of USB-C. One cool feature that they added to this board is that you can now charge your controller right from the battery. You don't have to look around for a brick to plug the thing into. It's all contained in one nice, neat, package so as you are charging the board you can also charge a controller or anything else that runs off a of USB. Now they included two different controllers in this pack. You have the original Meepo style controller here. A lot of different boards use this but today I'm actually going to be testing this new controller. This is their new NR remote or night riding remote and what makes it cool is if you press and hold this button you get a flashlight right there. Now I don't really ride at night as much as I used to, but that is definitely a nice touch and it is pretty powerful. So as long as you're riding with this thing down out in front of you, you should be able to see where you're going. You got a huge scrolly thumb wheel on top for acceleration and braking, and then you have a bunch of LEDs to indicate a few different things. You got the connection to the board right here, the battery life, and then four different modes from beginner, eco mode, expert, and pro mode. Now typically I like testing these things in beginner mode first, but because they claim that this thing should do 32 miles per hour, which is just insane. I'm actually gonna go out here to the streets and ride this thing in the professional mode right from the start. That way I have the most charged battery as possible. If this thing is as powerful as they claim, I'm definitely going to put on a helmet for safety reasons. And I think it's time to ride now, so let's go test this thing out. 
All right, we're gonna first turn the controller on. Got a green light indicating we got some battery there. Another nice addition is that up here, if you press this button on the board, it will indicate your battery level. The power button to turn the board on is down here by the ESC. Got a red light and we're good. As I mentioned in a lot of my videos, I dig this deck shape because of this tiny little kicktail here. You can set the board down without slamming it into the ground. And this thing flexes pretty similar to the other style boards with this kind of deck. Can't forget to turn on the tracking app so I get my speed and distance. I'll leave a link for that in the description down below. Now you change the mode right here by pressing this button. There we're in beginner, bump it up to eco, expert, and professional mode. Now let's see how this thing feels. Oh. I'm in reverse. All right, there we go. You gotta press and hold the reverse to get that thing to work. Now let's see how powerful this thing is. That was top speed right there. All right, first couple things to note about this new Meepo. One, it is very smooth and very quiet. I definitely like these bigger wheels. The power is absolutely there. I'm not going to check my top speed just yet, but I'm pretty sure I was going as fast as I possibly could. Doing great uphills. Yeah, the power on this one definitely feels improved compared to some of the previous ones that I've tested. Side note, I probably should have tightened the trucks before leaving because they are a little bit loose for someone my weight, but the acceleration curve is smooth, the brakes feel good, and the new trucks and bushings actually make this thing carve pretty nicely as well. Damn, this thing is quick, man and just powering up these hills, even on some relatively subpar pavement. a good understanding of the power that this thing brings, especially on that fresh battery. So I'm gonna bump it down into the uh, expert mode for now and see if I can kind of prolong the battery life on this thing just a little bit. All right, we got a pretty good hill test right here. I'm at a dead stop at a red light and we're going up this hill. Put it back into the pro mode. This thing just boogies, man, and it's smooth. Quick pit stop at about four miles to check the battery life on this thing. We're at 81% right now, and after crushing all those hills and going as fast as this thing can go, I think that's pretty good. Let's bump this down now. Let's check out beginner mode quick. And even in beginner mode, this thing feels like it's got a lot of power. Let me make sure I'm actually in beginner mode. Yeah, that was beginner mode. It feels fast. Braking definitely feels a little bit more gentle. Let's go up to eco mode. Yeah, this too. Power feels good. Brakes are a little bit stronger as you bump up to the more aggressive modes. And man, on this fresh pavement, these wheels and trucks feel awesome. Here's a really steep hill. And this thing is just crushing it. Definitely gonna need good brakes for this hill. All right, I just got one vibrate from the controller. That is saying we're at 65% now. 
I have a feeling it's going to take me a while to run this board all the way down, so let's jump ahead a little bit and then we'll jump right into my final impressions. All right guys, I'm back from my first ride and my first impressions with the Meepo NLS Pro. I'll tell you right off the bat that this thing has definitely met my expectations and exceeded them in some aspects. Like you guys saw, I was pushing this thing right from the start. I started in that pro mode to see if I could get the top speed. There were a ton of hills around here and I was kind of just doing laps up and down these hills trying to get this thing to die. So my test on it may be a little bit harder than some regular everyday use. However, we are going to check out these specs. I ended up going a distance of 13.55 miles. It looks like we do have 12% battery left and I did notice a little bit of a sag around 15. That's when I really noticed the performance start to drop off, but it was still running and I could probably still take it on some flat, smooth paved surfaces. I rode for a total of one hour and 18 minutes and hit a max speed of 27.68 miles per hour. That officially makes this thing the fastest skateboard that I've tested so far. That might actually change next week, so if you guys wanna stay tuned to the channel, make sure you click subscribe. But yeah, almost 28 miles per hour with this thing, that is super impressive. Now before we talk about the board, let's first talk about this new NR controller. I actually am a fan of it. It is pretty ergonomic. I like that it is kind of beefy and chunkier. My entire thumb fits all the way across this scrolly thumb wheel and I like it. The only downside to this controller I could see would be putting it in your pocket. It is a little bit chunky to kind of throw in your back pocket, but luckily they give you that original Meepo controller as well, the one that everyone knows. And that thing is very slim, so you can slip it right into any pocket and it makes commuting with this thing a little bit easier than it would with this. Now, as far as the board goes, I can confidently say that I recommend this board. The combination of the big wheels, the shredder trucks, the flexi deck, and that foam grip tape on top, this thing was extremely smooth, it carved great, and this is kind of what you expect when you get an electric longboard. Some people prefer a very stiff deck, other people like them to be really flexy, almost like a boosted board. This one kind of falls right in the middle, and I'm definitely a fan of it, it's really versatile. So the NLS Pro was very comfortable to ride, the power was insane, I was really impressed with that top speed and how this thing just crushes up hills. About a year or two ago I was really only interested in belt driven boards because at the time those provided the most consistent power and torque that you get out of motors like this. However these dual hub motors have definitely improved over the past like two seasons and I think I'm kind of off of that belt driven train now. These motors are super powerful compared to previous models. It keeps everything nice and contained maybe even a little bit lighter. Overall this entire package is just a really good sort of do it all board. If you want to commute with it, it has great range and power. If you want to just take it out on the weekends, it has that crazy top speed and rideability. From a skateboard perspective alone, this thing was definitely a joy to ride and I will absolutely be leaving it here in my van to kind of take with me as I travel around the country. That now makes three electric skateboards that I'm bringing along with me and chances are you're gonna see me riding these things a lot more in the future. The only thing I didn't hit on yet is price point. If you have an older Meepo, is it worth it to upgrade to something like the NLS Pro? If you are riding an older Meepo and you think you might want something more powerful, then yes, absolutely recommend an upgrade. This thing is coming in at $699, so it kind of puts it a little bit above some of the other boards that I tested recently. The updated WowGo, the updated Backfire. This thing is sort of in that mid-level tier, but because of the specs of it, I think it kind of borders along the tier of mid-level and the top dogs, putting it up there with the boosted boards and the Evolve boards. Now, I have not personally tested the new boosted Stealth, However, I think this would be a direct competitor to it. The power is definitely there on paper and with my testing alone, this thing should have a higher top speed than that. I think if you bump this thing down into an eco mode and ride it kind of conservatively for the most part, you're probably going to get an extended range out of it. And overall, it's a great board. If you guys want to check out the specs on this thing and all of the other boards to compare them side by side, I will leave a link to this spreadsheet down below. It's a comprehensive list of everything that I've tested here on the channel. And if you're actually 
you're looking to purchase a last mile vehicle like this to maybe get you to work or just to get you around town, then you can do some good comparisons there and see what would be the best fit for you. Now, if you guys have any questions on the Meepo NLS Pro, let me know in the comments down below and I will try to answer them as best as possible. And if you're into electric skateboards, make sure you click subscribe because I got a lot more coming up. Something that may even be more powerful than this thing next week. We'll see about that though. So if you're new to the channel, consider clicking subscribe. I make new videos every week. That's going to be all for today. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.